So here we are, we're, I'm getting into my one pair of my classic skis. The bindings have changed dramatically since my era. And now I have on all my classic skis, bindings that can actually move up or back, which is a huge advancement because um, it can, it can Im impact, you know, where your center of balance and where your weight is on the ski. So that, for example, if you're slipping, not getting enough kick or grip, you can slide the bindings forward, right? And that'll help with um, kick. Okay, so this particular binding, they're, they're all different, but basically you want, you get the bot. see the base of the boots. This is the NNN system, which is now pretty much standardized in Nordic skiing. There used to be and there's still a different kind of binding called the pilot binding, but this is now the standard. And so that bar goes into this little slot and then the, that, so there I'm in, see, so it's a free heel, obviously. Um, let me get the other one in. I'm a little bit of a downhill, so that's not how you want to do it. You want to be on a flat, but okay, here I am. So I'm into my bindings. And now the poles. Um, I highly recommend that you invest in good straps, handles, so that you can have maximum control in the polling piece of classic skiing. So, in this way, you're able to get your pole back very quickly, which is what you want. Um, you don't want to be holding them the whole time or have a loose situation where you don't have control over the pole. Okay, so this is Classic Skiing 101. <laughs> and the most important thing to think about in terms of the leg work in classic skiing is that what you want what you're striving for is complete transfer of weight onto one leg a lot of people um, and that requires balance which of course trail running requires too right um, and uh, beginners often what they'll end up doing if, um, is divide the weight between two skis and kind of shuffle like this. Which is, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not um, uh, achieving, getting everything out of classic skiing that one can. I mean, like doing it properly requires a complete weight shift in the legs. But that also requires the pole work to set up the stride to allow that. So I'll give you a dem demonstration of classic stride, okay? So an, uh, another big piece of classic skiing is what is called the double pull. So double pulling is if you're just, and you have to read the terrain when you're classic skiing to, and you know, it becomes instinctive, but depending on the terrain, um, striding, which I just showed you, um, is the fastest depending on the terrain and or double pulling is faster. Like typically on like gradual downhills or flats, um, or you or you mix it up but anyway double pulling is is both arms at the same time and bringing your arms up like you were answering a telephone and then punching down getting over your skis and going forward like this so then another another um, technique that's typical to classic skiing is called 
kick double pulling, which I will now demonstrate that. <laughs> So, so on your first Nordic skiing ski outing, I would recommend, um, you know, taking it easy, taking taking the time to try to get comfortable with balance. It's it's it requires a tremendous amount of balance and breaking it down. Um, you know, and when I've given when I give lessons, I often have um, athletes, runners you know, learning to Nordic ski, uh, dispense with the poles and just work on the legs and then, um, get the poles back in, in, in involved and then just keep your legs straight in the tracks and not worry about striding, but, but work on the, on the polling technique. So breaking it down and then putting it all back together. So for all you trail runners who have any interest in Nordic skiing, I highly encourage it because it's, I, as I said, um, you have used it myself when I was trail running, dabbling in trail running in my younger days. <laughs> um, and um, come to Colorado, come to Leadville. Leadville has so many awesome Nordic skiing options. Here at the Mount Massive Golf Course at Seconds as a Nordic Center in the winter time, Dan does a tremendous job of grooming here. Turquoise Lake, the Snow Machine Association, grooms the entirety of the lake. I skied around the whole lake the other day. The east side is set and the mineral belt that circumnavigates Leadville is groomed for both skating and Nordic and classic and um, it's just kind of a Nordic nirvana here. <laughs>